Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today we've got the maiden flight of the FMS Pilatus PC21. Before I get into the content, I need to let you know this video is sponsored by FMS who sent me this PC21 for review. If you'd like to pick up your own, I've got affiliate links in the description. If you use my affiliate links, FMS pays the channel a little bit of a kickback or a commission, but don't worry, it doesn't cost you anything extra. Thanks to FMS for sending this plane out for review. Let's get into it. I think this plane actually had fewer parts to put on than any other ARF that I can recall, and I just did the Futura Jet, which only had like eight. So four on the horizontal stabilizer, two on each side, and four on the wing, so eight. <laughs> and one control linkage, it was for the elevator, and that was it. Other than that, it was just a wiring job. Fit and finish on this plane is spectacular. This one's been around for a while. This is not a brand new model, but fit and finish on the PC-21 was just spectacular. All the wiring was in place correctly. All I had to do is wire it up to my receiver. I've got working flaps, retract landing gear, and I love that five-bladed prop up front. It just sounds so cool. It love does. love the way this one sounds. It does, it's beautiful. It is. All right, here's a quick look at the retracts. We just brought those up, and then there they go back down. Nice uh, door up on the front nose wheel. And there are the flaps. I've got takeoff flaps and landing flaps. And I actually do have a little there bit of a mix. mix on the elevator. So just a tiny one, just to give that little bit of nose down. And don't forget, this has got the Reflex V2 gyro. Given the wind conditions I'm seeing today, we're gonna go ahead and try that gyro. You can see our airplane covers and the windsock. We've got some wind, so we're gonna give the gyro a try. All right, let's fly it. One last control systems check. I expect the right aileron to come up. There it is. The left aileron is down, I can see that. I expect the left aileron to come up, and it does. I expect the elevator to come up, and it does. I expect the rudder and the nose wheel to come right, and they do. The rudder and the nose wheel should go left, and they do. And here's a little bump of power. Perfect. And we'll touch the flaps. Those are takeoff flaps, although today, today I'm not even going to bother with that. Hey, Dave, come on up and get the camera on the prop. I'm going to stand and lock the back up, and I want to let's hear that prop go. It's going to sound really good. That sounds so good, yeah, it man. Whooshes. It sounds like a turbo prop. Yeah, it sure does. It whooshes. It's really cool. I like that. <laughs> it says, no, I'm turning right. Yep, it's turning right. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't want to talk to me about turning left. <laughs> that new program you got? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. Taking off. I'm going to leave the stabilizer off for the first takeoff, but we will test the Reflex V2 on this plane. So, and I think because of the wind, I'm going to go ahead and use high rates. So it may not be graceful, but I want to make sure I have full control for this initial takeoff. Here we go. Beautiful. That turned out good. Yeah, that was good. All right, let me see what's going on in terms of trim. All right, I've got it trimmed out. I'm gonna bring the gear up. There we go, gear is up. And we're flying directly into the wind. So I'm, it's gonna to be tough to trim this one exactly the way I normally like it, because there's a lot of wind, but I'll do what I can. Still needs a little more down elevator. Look at that, man, that's such a nice looking plane. I've always liked the way this plane looks in the sky, always. It is a very sleek looking plane. And the best part is it's got five blades, so you can break a couple of them and continue to fly because you got a bunch of blades, spare blades on it. Well, if you nice. do that, make sure you drop some epoxy on the spinner so you keep things in balance. <laughs> All right, we'll do the inverted test. Oh, that's very nice, very nice. That looked really good. Let's do the yaw test, Dave. I'm gonna come back around into the right. wind. And on the yaw test, all I like to do is just go straight up in the air, kill the power, and see which way it drops. So here we go. Straight up in the air into the wind. Power's coming off. Yeah, perfect. No problems there. Very good. All right, and the last thing we'll do is we'll do two more things. We're going to do a loop. I just want to make sure it tracks straight. The plane tracked straight, that's the wind blowing it right at me, So, but the plane tracked. I didn't have any problems there. There we go. Yeah, no worries there. And I also want to do a stall. Let's get an idea of what it takes to stall this plane and what it's like to recover it. So I'm just going to come around into the wind again. We're going to start a gradual little climb at about 30 degrees. 
We're going to bring the power off and we're going to wait for it to stall. Constant elevator, there's the stall. Okay, it lost a little and I saw the wing dip a little bit. So keep that in mind, that was a little bit of a wing dip, but I also have a crosswind, so there could have been a contributing factor to that is what I'm trying to say. Plus, this is a scale airplane. Yeah, though. it is. Let's try it again. We'll go into the wind this time a little bit and see if we get the same result. Yep, left, left wing, same thing. All right, keep that in mind on the stall. That's why you do these tests. You want to understand what's going to happen. Now on the ground, you know if you stall it on the ground, your left wing's going to drop. That's why we do that. Beautiful airplane. Absolutely beautiful plane. All right, let's do a burner, Dave. Let's see what happens. There's a little okay. bit of power. Very nice roll rate. And we're going to do a Cuban 8 right in front. These are good planes for practicing basic airmanship skills, guys. I love these for that. The Pilatus is just really good at the basic airmanship stuff, too. Before you land, you think you can give me a low pass for a gear down pass? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and turn the stabilizer on, too. Let me get a little altitude. Okay. I'm going to bring the stab on. Okay. I have different trims for different flight modes, so I just trimmed it again. Okay. So that is that. I think that looks good. All right. Here's your fly. Here's a little flyby, Dave. Oh, yeah, man. Look at nice. That Very cool. All right, I'm going to make another pass and bring the gear down for Dave. So we're going to get low to the ground and bring the gear down so Dave can catch it on film. All right, there's the gear. Nice. Very nice. All right, let's practice the approach. That's the Maiden. You guys know the drill. Maiden's done. I've actually been flying around more than I should. Let's get this plane on the ground. I'm going to go without flaps because I've got a long runway to work with. So I'm just going to do it without flaps and see what I think. And then if I like it, we'll try it with flaps and see what happens. Beautiful. Look at that on the wheel, on the wheel, look at that. There you go. <laughs> That's cool, man. Did you guys see that? Tricycle gear up in the air. Very yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. That was no flaps. All right, let's try it with flaps. And there's my voltage alert. So this is working out well. I got full flaps now. That should allow me to get it even slower. Look at that, man. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. You gotta love the PC-21, man. Yeah. What a nice airplane. Look at that. Full flaps, graceful little landing. How can you not love the PC-21, man? Everything about that flight was just spectacular. Very good sport plane. Obviously not a 3D plane. Perfect sport plane, though. Very mild-mannered. The Reflex V2 did a wonderful job in the wind. I did not do auto-level mode. We'll mess with that another day. And the landings with the flaps down, just absolutely spectacular. Slight little elevator mix and no problems. In terms of flight time, let me give you guys an idea of what happened on the flight time. I have 1 minute and 46, so if I reset the timer... That goes up to eight. So I got about six minutes, 15 seconds on that one. And my battery is reading 15.1 at rest, which is right there at 3.8. You could fly it just a little bit longer. Uh, I am a little conservative on when I bring the battery down, but I know it's gonna come off at about 3.8 after rest. I'd like to say thanks to FMS for sending this plane out for review. I'll remind you there are affiliate links in the description if you'd like to get one for yourself. Remember, if you like this kind of content, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe and hit the bell so you know new videos hit the channel. YouTube should recommend another video for you right now. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hasta la vista. And go fly something. All right, here comes the gear, Dave. Okay. Or not. Oh, those are flaps. <laughs> oh, Wrong here side. comes the gear. There you go. Beep. That gets cut. <laughs>